PPR supports people whose rights are being denied. We know what the problems are. We know what the solutions are. And we know who's responsible. We know how to bring about change. This film tells the last year of our story. A widow who is the sole carer for her son who is severely autistic says the benefit system has left her feeling worthless. As well as caring for Stephen, who's autistic, Kirsty suffers from two autoimmune diseases. But she's been turned down for PIP. That's the benefit that's replaced Disability Living Alliance. She's also been told she's not eligible for Employment Support Alliance. Well, both of them I have been refused with absolutely no point. When I, the year before, I'd been assessed for DLA and I got full DLA and yet a year later I got absolutely no points. And when I got my letter to say I was sanctioned, I got put off the SA on the job seekers. How does it not affect people's life when they start cutting their money or in some cases taking their money away from them? A petition's been handed in calling for more GP mental health counselling to be given funding. The key aims are getting a, a GP in every doctor's surgery. The also equipping the GPs with mental health training. At the moment only 50% of doctors have to do mental health training when they're training. We would like to get that to 100%. What the campaign has found out is, and it's, it's fairly shocking, but that the budget currently would work out at £2.29 per person, per patient, who may well need counselling, which is obviously an absolute disgrace. Safer Campaign, in its very essence, is about improving support services uh, for people who have been bereaved by suicide. The project that we're proposing is for um, housing associations and charities to come together to house destitute asylum seekers and we're not asking for any money from the housing executive or from the government. It will be fully, um, fully funded by our charity partners and housing associations. So all we're saying is can we just be given this, you know, given a, a green light on this so that we can put it to use and house people and that's all. Hello, can I speak to Clark Bailey, please? Um, yeah, it's about him coming to a launch on the 2nd of August at 7, at 7 at Conway Mill. Um, it's part of the Air Quality Conway program. Why can we not make up? Why is it not important? I mean, there are developers across the city who see dollar signs in building hotels and building multi-storey car parks and see only problems with building houses. The boys and girls of the housing executive to ensure that homes, 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 homes are built on the land that is available in our city. So thank you, young man. An independent review of housing executive tar blocks in Northern Ireland has recommended a number of safety improvements. What needs to happen in terms of these tar blocks is a wholesale analysis of the needs of the families and the individuals who live here, the conditions that they endure, the damp, the mould, the cold, the health conditions that come because of that, and then interventions by the state, the Public Housing Authority. Among the recommendations is the installing of sprinkler systems. This alone could cost up to £4 million. What's going to be just there? My house. <laughs> I am homeless, living in a homeless hostel with no homeless status. I've been on the waiting list for four years this Christmas. For some reason, I don't meet FDA, and I would like to know why I'm homeless, living in a hostel. They approach PPR because they've been living in houses very close to where we are now, that are riddled with damp, with infestation. If you want to see when they move in here, they move into a house, lacks most of furniture, nothing in there. There's enormous pressure on the social housing stock, there's pressure on budgets. We've got 400,000 people across Scotland on social housing waiting lists. It gave us a, a strength to carry on that you really did have rights. We really can make a difference because you're not just making a difference for yourself, you're making it for your community. 
I've had no choice but to take this action because Cork County Council are failing to help my family despite numerous phone calls, emails, visits from myself. They're aware of my situation. Me and my husband are now sleeping in a car and our children are separated between our families, which is heartbreaking for me as a mother and it's heartbreaking for my children. The ministers with whom I met told me that things are going well. It's of course not the story that I heard in my travels through Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland. If a new government was interested, the harshness, the worst aspects of a lot of these policies could be changed overnight and for very little money. We are documenting how to claim rights, engage power and bring change in our communities because business as usual is just not good enough. Thank you for watching.